the business record for um, seeing this as an issue that we all should participate in and organizing a group of us to have a dialogue around this. So I applaud the business record for that. Um, as uh, was stated, my name is Renee Hartman. My perspective will be from the experience that I have of 19 years in human resources and corporate America, and I think we've heard lots of statistics. And I was at the Urbandale Library last night just doing some research, and I had mounds and mounds of things to look for and to highlight to, to see if I can make sure the numbers. And I'm not going to do that today other than I'm going to provide you with some statistics that you've heard or have not heard is that, you know, overall women earn 77 to 78% of what men earn, African Americans earn 67%, and Hispanic 58%. 27% um, of Fortune 500 companies do not have one female executive on their team. So 138 out of 500 corporate uh, corporations, Fortune 500, don't have women that are at the executive C-level table. Um, we face lots of external and uh, institutional barriers. And when you start peeling the onion and when you look at women in general, we all have things that we need to face and barriers we need to overcome. So even when you add the layer of ethnic into the mix, and I'm going to do that because that's the perspective that I have and that's what I'm bringing to this panel, you have to continue to peel the onion about barriers that we need to overcome. And I said in my opening remarks when we were able to provide a statement for the business record is that it takes great leaders that are already in these positions to look beyond the comfortable and to embrace some of the stereotypes that do go on in organizations and that do plague women and face women and try to overcome that and really see beyond that and look for opportunities to empower women and to provide opportunity for women to take on leadership roles because we're all capable. I mean, there are hundreds of us in this room today that are very capable, uh, but sometimes there are opportunities and organizations where the thought process is, is that person ready? that person taking care of a family. Just three weeks ago on the news, I was sitting at TV with a friend, watching TV with a friend, and there was a gentleman, a billionaire uh, individual, who was talking about how when women have children, they lose focus. They lose total sight and focus on making key decisions. And it's those kind of thought processes that truly, I think, uh, get in the way, create barriers, and I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm speaking truth to power here. <laughs> and it is thoughts that, that, that occur in a workplace that I think hamper a woman's ability to succeed. Um, but there are very, very progressive leaders in this community. Um, I had the pleasure to work with, a, and, I, and I'll tell a personal story, uh, when I became uh, the Senior Vice President of Human Resources some 18 years ago, um, you know, when you're the only one, you begin to sometimes just say, you know, goodness, you know, uh, it, sometimes it's lonely at that level. And I had a deep conversation with the person that promoted me to that level and said, when I asked, why did you promote me to that? And the person began to talk about my experiences, my work ethic, and all of those great things. And, and the person said, if you think it's because you're black, I want to let you know that that is icing on the cake for me. Because that's a perspective that I don't have. That's a perspective and a window that I can't see through, and that you can provide that for me. And that was a telling point for a very progressive leader at that time to acknowledge that I need a broad perspective around me. I need a broad perspective of different thoughts, of different skill sets, so that I'm not just thinking like a, a team that just thinks like me, looks like me. And so it takes progressive leaders to recognize that until they broaden the horizon, and bring more people to the table with more different perspectives, you'll get more out of what you're doing. You'll achieve your strategic goals when you invite that to the table. So that's the perspective that I like to bring to this dialogue and conversation. And again, thank you for taking time to, to be here this morning.